if you're new to my channel welcome i'm nubian and for those of you who are returning what's up y'all welcome to another beautiful ass magical ass moment in time y'all for those of y'all who have yet to tap into my classic coaching you're missing out you may want to do that and now to help you through these masterful times that we're all going through I noticed that I really love when my numbers go low. Like, people are like, oh my God, my numbers are low. But I love my numbers going low. Because now we can really have chitch, you know. See, this is how you know when the devil cannot inhabit praise. Because that's when they all scatter. If you truly want to know how to get rid of a demon, you got to praise. You got to praise, babe. is just so beautiful to the point to where I just can't get enough of just who God is and how God is allowing me to be in this position of just honoring him and just be in this position of being of service to you, being of service to the universe, especially during these times. So many people, oh, so many people are losing everything. And this is why this is happening. Because they turn their backs on God. So this is their punishment. I was talking to God. And God gave me Isaiah. Isaiah 1. Hear, O, excuse me, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Ah, sinful nation a people laden with iniquity a seed of evildoers children that are corruptors they have forsaken the lord they have provoked the holy one of israel unto anger they have gone away backwards and i was like whoa i know we're in the times right now y'all feel it too so i'm not alone we all know because everybody's like okay what's gonna happen next is deep because I couldn't wait for my connection with God, for my relationship with God 
Man will always let you down. Man will always break your heart. When you put your hope in man, they will always let you down. They don't even love themselves. They look for pain, more pain. So they have to find others that bring them more pain because when you are true light, they're not ready to heal. They just like to wallow in that pain. And if you are not careful, then you can pull yourself into pain with them. Love doesn't hurt. And if love hurts, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want any part of it. Because the Bible talks about what love is. We're in a space right now where... I saw this sign that said instructions. And and the more I'm sitting here... The more it keeps saying instructions, instructions, instructions. So before God gets ready to do something to the land, he always gives his children instructions. So I keep seeing instructions. When he first shared this with me, I was told to tell whoever needs to hear this, because somebody out there needs to hear this, just get a tent. Just make sure you have a tent, at least a tent for a family of four or five, them small ones. They used to be about 50 bucks when I got them, but now they're about $150. But just get that tent and focus on flannel blankets and flannel socks. I want to give you further instructions than that. But I was just told to just point you to God. Because that's all I can do. I can't, I, can't, I can't map this out for you. You have to face the judgment of what it is that you have recompense to pay for your own bloodline. For your own family. All I can do is point some things out to you for you to consider and show many of you what it is that I'm being even shown myself for even my own walk um, for all of us but trust me when I say for you chosen ones out there for God's people we've already walked these roads several times it's a walk it's a walk I would like to say it's a walk on the park but I don't, I'm not going to get too cocky or vain because God said in this hour, he is going to humble those who have been cocky and vain. Those who have laid up treasures for themselves in this world. Who, if you look at their houses, they have horses. And it's just more horses. And then with the horses, it's more chariots. And if you look around, they're just collecting more idols for themselves. They're just collecting more worship for themselves. They're just collecting more and more and more things. But God said, there's an hour that is coming where they're going to be trying to cast those things away from them. Those things that they let define them, they're going to be trying to cast those things away from them. It's there. Isaiah 1. Check it out. I'm just giving you a little breakdown, but it's there. I saw it with my own eyes as well. I saw a vision. I see it now. You ain't even got to see no vision. Look around now. Look at the look at the shelters are being filled. I heard three peat again. I don't want to say remember I said it. There's no point in any of that right about now. Because this is really scary for a lot of people. I see more floods coming. Especially for the area of Texas. In that same area, again, that same path, again, I heard three peep. I also heard that those of you who have been given specific instructions and you have not followed or taken heed to God's instructions and what it is that he told you to do, I would repent. I would repent. It's quick, quick, quick. You still have a chance. Don't just give up, please. Just go to God. It's important right now. 
uh, you don't want to be a part of what he is getting ready to do to these people. And God, he told me to start this video with instructions. And before God gets ready to do something to the land, he gives his children what? Instructions. It's written in his word that he gives his children instructions. So the instructions are this. You're going to see many people that are going to be homeless amongst you, but you can't save those people. They are paying some type of recompense for what it is that they have done unto the kingdom of heaven or not done unto the kingdom of heaven. A lot of you were told to go towards either a move or something. You were, I don't know what it is you were told. It could be anything. It could be anything. I have no clue. You were told something. And if you didn't do it, if you didn't listen, I... That's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to play with God. When God tells you to do something, don't play with it. At least seek into the heart of the matter. See what's going on. Uh, your friends and your family, they're not going to save you. The shelters are filling up. And as you can see them filling up, people have children with them. Like, and what if their children are sick? And it's, a, it's an outbreak. I don't want to have to say this. But I do see many of these shelters are about to start having some type of challenge with so many people being housed in one shelter at one time that it's going to be some type of sickness outbreak. And then they're going to have to do a mass disposal. I've been seeing in my vision lands that have been cleared, being cleared and not just in my vision, I've been seeing on purpose on person and I've been realizing that they're making room for bodies. I see so deep. But I stand in the power and what it is that I know. I know I'm not crazy. They know I'm not crazy either. And y'all know I'm not crazy too. See the thing is. You should be seeking God for yourself. So therefore, you ain't got to be looking at me and try to judge and ask me if I'm crazy and if some, if some of my information is right. What about your information? What are you bringing to the table in this hour to help edify, to help the children go towards the kingdom of heaven, towards helping the people go towards God Almighty versus sitting there judging me? Think it not strange the fiery trials in which are the fire try your life God says, touch them, not my anointing. But it's deep because people will still try it. Mm -mm. God is such love, though. I know God is love. And because God is love, what does that make us? It makes us children of a king of a true king of royal priesthood royal blood hello oh my god y'all not hearing me though y'all don't hear me you don't hear me you don't hear what i'm saying do y'all hear what i'm saying do y'all do y'all do y'all do y'all do y'all hear it it's here it's now where we see the powers of heaven clown. Yeah, I love it. Anyways, I want to bring y'all that message and let you know that God still reigns on the throne. would not listen to God 
and because they would not listen to the cry, just like it was in the days of Noah. Just like it was in the days of Noah. Oh, we're about to see something. And God has given his children instructions. And with those instructions, what I'm seeing is there's, I'm seeing a big bank lock, like a big vault with a knob. I'm seeing that your frequency is a combination. I'm seeing that there's about to be a massive transformation of wealth. When you receive this transformation of wealth, don't blow it. Use it to put, prepare yourself to get the last of what it is that you need. Majority of the transformation of wealth is not a lump sum wealth. It already happened. It was a wealth of information or a wealth of energy or a wealth of knowledge or a wealth of receiving something that, you know, God had to place you in a position that may seem small, but ultimately it's very huge, very, very huge. I mean, huge. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the plans and the thoughts that I have for you, declares the Lord. Yeah. Now, what I'm seeing with this is once you receive this wealth, position yourself. Position. You'll know who to share this with because a lot of people who were against you or what it is that you were doing calling you crazy thinking you are weird are going to be the same ones trying to run to you in that hour or even have their people that they were running to that they were talking about you with or against those people are going to be trying to get a hookup or know somebody or something or come where you're at but if they didn't help you build, don't bring those people to your door. It's going to put you in danger because somebody's going to bring somebody that's going to bring somebody that's going to bring somebody and we ain't, we, we not playing that. I don't care if you got a hundred acres, if God put you there by yourself, you're there by yourself. Unless God told you to bring somebody there where you're at and wherever you are in the world, do not move unless you first talk to God about where you're going about where you go. don't make no move don't jump don't go don't do nothing this ain't the time to move this ain't the time to go nowhere right now talk to God first yeah so God said there's about to be a shaking I told y'all the quakes are coming God said there's about to be a shaking on this earth well, many places had already started shaking, but this shaking, they're going to know. The world's going to know. God's people are being placed in a position to put themselves in a position. And then once they're in that position, they know to go inside and close the doors. And then from there, it's going down. The Bible says one will be standing in the field, the other left. I don't know what the events are simultaneously or separately. I just know that God's people will be ready. There will be a transformation of wealth. Some of that transformation of wealth has already happened. Um, but it's interesting because a lot of people feared God's people because they didn't understand their frequency. But they're going to realize it, it, they're going to realize exactly who God's people are. That's what's so powerful about it because God says in the last days that he's going to establish his people up on the mountains. They're going to be in the mountains and they're going to be singing and these people are going to come and they're going to say, let's go to the house of God and see what it is that God is saying because they're going to be giving praises. <laughs> Interesting because when I sing in my mountain it echoes throughout the whole entire mountain. 
So here it is at one point I had a neighbor complaining about me singing, living on a sky riser, but God has placed me on a mountain. I left all the trees as natural element. I'm in the midst of a cavern. I feel like Goldilocks. As long as I don't see the three bears, I'm good. But if I do, I know I still walk well with the elements. These are the times where I I know what I did, like people, you, trust me. Yeah, test. With great power comes great responsibility. So don't expect to receive God's abundance and God's favor and God's, you know, seeds if you haven't planted seeds. It doesn't work that way. It would be nice, but then again, it really wouldn't be worth it. Because we've all been in training for these days. So because we've all been in training for these days, it's truly time for us to be in that position now to say, okay, we're not babes no more. None of us are babes. None of us are in a place of immaturity to where we got to keep behaving as babes or behaving as a child or being in a position to where we pull others down if we're in a negative space. But I have to I have to be in a space of love and when someone shows you who they are the first time believe them but never put yourself in a position to have your heart broken because of someone else's inability to see your worth you're very beautiful you're very powerful and most importantly, you're a child of royal bloodline. If you're interested in donating to my channel, look down in the description box below. It'll tell you how to do just that. If you're interested in taking any of my classes, come on in. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and fulfill that in which you have been called into this plenty of existence to, to do, be, think, act, and feel here and now. This is my calling. Life coaching. Yeah. I was born for this. DNA coded for this. May the force be with each and every one of you. Because I know the force is with me. Nubian Divine. Divine.